Okay, everybody, today I'm going to show you how to, to copy tracks from one session to another in Sonar Platinum. So let's get started. First thing you need to do is open two sessions at the same time. This session has one right behind it that you can't see. That's one, and this is another one. I'm going to close up some of these extra windows just so we don't have too much on the screen. So now let's go to Window and Tile and Columns. So now you can see you've got tracks over here, tracks over there. And if you hit Shift and F, the tracks will get small so you can see them all pretty much on the screen. So you can see. And I'm going to scoot down to the bottom because that's where I'm going to put these tracks. Over to the right, I go Shift and F. So let's say I want to take my True Pianos track. So if I want the True Pianos tracks to go into the other session, just highlight the two tracks, hit Control, and drag the top of this audio track or audio clip over into this session. And as you can see, we have the two True Pianos tracks, but the effect that was on True Pianos did not transfer over. So I'm going to go up here, hit Control in that effect, and drag that over into here. Now I have the effect here and the piano. So now let's take several other tracks. Let's take um, these tracks and transfer them over. So we'll hit Control and grab the top edge of the uh, audio clip and drag it over here. And there they come. Um, again, you have to check and see if there's any effects that didn't get transferred over. It doesn't seem like we have any over here. But if you do, you can just drag your effects separately. Now remember there sometimes there are several different ways to accomplish the same thing. This way works really well. And another use for it is sometimes you may have a glitch in a session where things aren't working right. And let's say the one on the right is the one giving you problems. You can save it as a template, but you don't copy all the audio. You save it as a template. Template. There we go. And uh, then you can create a new session. from the template and then drag all your files over into it and sometimes that will clear up your problems. Okay everybody, thanks for watching this video today. I'm Danny and if for more videos like this you can go to cakewalktips.com. So we'll see you next time.